So I know I seem like a nice fella on the Cash Cab program, uh, but that's editing. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I am a nice guy. I try to be a nice guy on the show, you know. Uh, I think what I'm trying to say is that road rage is real. <laughs> All right, anyone who's driven 100 feet in a major city knows that road rage is a reality, right? There's a line. On one side of the line, you're like, that man is driving aggressively and I wish he would stop it. On the other side of that line, that turns into, I will kill your whole family. <laughs> if you do not move your city vehicles from my path immediately, you and your loved ones will die a horrible, fiery death. Right? They're right next to each other. If you cross over into that second one, there is no quick route back. You need to pull over for a minute and cool off become a danger to yourself and those around you. Road rage is real, and I am no different. Well, I'm a little different in that I am hosting a game show when it's happening to me. <laughs> so the camera is always on me, right? So I can never show anything. So no matter what happens, I just kind of go, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey yeah, yeah. <laughs> It would be a great day to be sitting in traffic for 12 hours, isn't it? <laughs> right? No matter what happens, I don't show it. So it builds up and builds up. And then it comes out when I'm not ready. On several occasions, I have thrown the cash cab into park and leapt into traffic. <laughs> with the full intention of kicking the shit out of a complete and total stranger. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. All right, I'm a little bit proud of it. <laughs> on one particular occasion, we were sitting in traffic on 3rd Avenue for the 150th day in a row. <laughs> we continue to choose 3rd Avenue, despite the fact that they're building a hospital and a pipeline and a freaking amusement park in the middle of 3rd <laughs> Avenue. And we are guaranteed at least 40 minutes of going absolutely nowhere. So I'm already irritated by the traffic, to make matters worse, there's an electrician in a van behind me who doesn't seem to understand how a traffic jam works. <laughs> right? He seems to be under the impression that somewhere all the way at the front of the traffic jam, there is a man in a very wide car <laughs> who has just nodded off at the wheel. <laughs> and that if he, the electrician, can only honk long and loud enough, <laughs> he will wake the man in the wide car and we'll all be on our merry way immediately. <laughs> to make matters even worse, the electrician and his horn have impeccable timing. They're as good as the owl, if not a little better. <laughs> he will only honk if I have just begun speaking, which means I have to stop speaking and start all over again. So I'm talking, I'm like, located in downtown. <laughs> What is this guy's problem? Let's try that again. Located in downtown. Bang! Son of a bitch! And I try to sneak one in real quick before he could honk. I'm like, located in downtown. Bang! How does he know? And then that little fuse in my head short circuited. Now everything's different. Now there is no third avenue. There's no hospital or pipeline or amusement park. There's nothing. There's just me and the electrician. So I'm like, I think I'll put my window down. Another bird. <laughs> this one is completely flightless. <laughs> I wish to God I could fly off the end of my arm and punch that asshole in the nose and fly right back. <laughs> but it can't, so I just hold it up there long and steady. Make sure he sees it. And not only does this not stop the horn, but an already powerful horn seems to somehow be gaining strength from the finger gesture. Right before it was like, now it's like, Burr. 
Now I'm like moving back and forth. <laughs> Singing a crazy little song in my head, like, I am going to kill you. <laughs> la, 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 la. And then the horn stops, and I'm like, oh my god, it worked. And as I'm pulling my hand back in, I see in the mirror, the electrician is now getting out of his van. <laughs> He is walking toward the cash cab at a healthy clip. And I don't think he's coming to say, hey, I really love your show. Right? Because he's walking like this. So I've been in a situation like this at this point and stayed in the cab. Now, if you've never been in a road rage altercation situation, Take it from me, seated and buckled in with your face in a big hole <laughs> at perfect punching height. This is no way to begin a street fight. <laughs> the other guy's just gonna be like, really? You're just gonna keep your face in the big opening like a booth at the county fair? I can just punch the shit out of you over and over and over until you remember that you can close the window. So I've been there before. It didn't end that way, but it could have. So I remember it, and I see him coming, and I'm like, that's not happening again. <laughs> Boom, I throw the cab in the park, and I come barreling out. <sighs> now I am the last dude that he was expecting to see <laughs> come flying out of the driver's seat of a New York City taxi cab. Right, he's expecting a much smaller Middle Eastern fella. Right? Not six and a half foot me with my Marine Corps haircut. <laughs> 200 episodes of pent up cash cab road rage. <laughs> burning in my eyes like, ah! You know how many people get kicked out without using their shout outs, buddy? You know how many? <laughs> so he sees me coming. And he immediately goes from hey to hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you large and frightening man, you. <laughs> Why were you doing that silly thing right here then? <laughs> and I'm screaming before my feet even hit the street. I'm like, it's a goddamn traffic jam. Nobody's going anywhere. It doesn't matter what you do. So why are you honking? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Then he says, he goes, you're crazy. <laughs> then I go, I know. You and your horn made me this way. So deal with it. He goes, I'm calling the cops. I'm like, you got out to kick my ass and now you're calling the cops. <laughs> now what he doesn't know is that while he was sitting right behind me, right behind him was the cash cab crew van. And there's eight dudes in there. <laughs> One of them is a New York City police officer. He has a gun. His whole job description is protect Ben Bailey. <laughs> right? So while I'm arguing with this guy in the middle of Third Avenue, they are lining up right behind him like a team photo in a high school yearbook. There's like two rows of dudes with their arms folded. So he says, I'm calling the cops. So I'm like, why don't you save yourself a little time and turn around and talk to the cop who's standing right behind you, who works for me. And that just like sends him reeling. Now he's like regressing to some driver instructional course. And he just starts going, never get out of the van, never get out of the van, never get out of the van, never get out of the van. And finally, he gets up the nerve to turn around. I mean, he's scared, right? He's like, how could this bizarre cabbie have a police posse that is already behind me 
like 11 seconds have gone by. This is insane. So he doesn't know what to do, but eventually he gets up the nerve to turn around. He slowly turns around. There they all are, right behind him. Nobody says a word. He just kind of looks at them like, really? And they all just kind of look back at him like, yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> and that's enough for him. He dives back into his van, he slams the door, and he locks it. Now I'm standing in the middle of Third Avenue, still staring at him. He won't look, he's staring at the passenger seat. <laughs> Suddenly very interesting, the leather surface of that passenger seat. <laughs> Tony, the cop, slowly walks over to me. He gets right up next to me, he leans in real close, and he goes, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> he gets even closer and he says, you're a game show host. <laughs> And I swear to you, that's the first moment that it occurred to me that I am, in fact, a game show host. Like, nobody sees that one coming. It's also the moment that I remember that there is a couple in the back seat of the cash cab, right in the middle of a game. So we turn and look, and they're like noses to the window, like, ah! This is the best show I've ever seen! So I don't know what to do. I'm like humiliated, fired up. I'm like, ah, I just slowly walk back over to the cab and open the door, climb in, sit down. All right, you guys have $600, you have 23 blocks to go, you have two strikes. You've used your mobile shout out. You've used your mobile shout out, but you still have your street shout out. Don't forget about it. Here's your next question for 100 bucks. But first, you guys have $600 and we are stuck in a red light and that triggers a red light challenge! Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching Cash Cab. Good night.